is the, well, there's a bunch of box there. Uh, this is an update on the Dell PowerEdge 2900. As you can see, the front panels here, I kind of, I kind of knocked the damn thing off accidentally. Holy shit, there's dust on the top of it like no freaking tomorrow. So, we still have all the boxes of shit on the top of it, but, um, Lucky's actually digging that out. Wow, this thing looks cool on the top of it. Um, it's like it's got, I don't know what that is, I don't know if that's the drive bays or what, but the, uh, I don't know, it's weird. It's, well, we've got a ton of ventila ventilation, I can see that, and then, oh, there's, oh, there's the DVD-ROM drive, and, uh, oh, the on-off switch is up here. It does look like we could have some slight issues, but well, I can't figure it. It's only a matter of time figuring out how long this thing is. And there's a weird little thing, so it's got a couple of thing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> as you can tell, I knocked the panel off on the floor there. Right. So I was looking at underneath. What are these? The drive drive bay is up front here? There's a drive bay here, a drive bay here, and then the CD drive here, and then here are... I believe these are removable hard drives. Yeah, the question is how you actually do it. Um, I wouldn't mess with it yet. Let me clear off things because there's a printer and a couple boxes and a keyboard and a oh, yeah. of things on top of oh, it Oh, that's what's on top of it. There's a damn printer. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of stuff. So. Oh, so this is actually on video right now. Oh, yeah, I figured. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's a PS slash two keyboard. Nobody cares. Oh. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, you heard what Charlie just said. Nobody cares about PS slash two keyboards. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, if you want to look at his channel, you the easiest way to find it is from mine. Um, I don't have anything on my channel. Well, except two rather really amusing videos, which are really funny. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not keeping the channel. It's not. <laughs> I just oh my god, Charlie, those it. videos are so freaking funny. Um, so, what the heck am I even filming right now? I don't even know. Here's a power supply. It's easily removable. Ooh. Yeah, here, hold it. Whoop, oh. This is the power supply. Holy F. Wait. Holy shit, this is the power supply to the... Oh my... That thing is freaking huge! Uh-huh. Holy shit! That is big for a freaking pet here. So, let's go on a whim. Let's try, let's see if it works with one, because that will tell us. So, we're hoping we can get the PE2900 going. Alright, uh, Kat, can you give me some space? And, uh, I'm sitting there holding this big-ass power supply here. As you can see, that's what's on video right now. Um. Alright, let's, um, get your feet out of the way, because this is gonna... Now the computer is standing up on its front. Um, well, let me let me see if I can figure out how tall it is, or how... Oh, wait, well, all right, here. We're going to have to put this in, because I'm holding the... Um, but, wow, are these the freaking drive bays here? No, it's a PCI. Holy shit. It's one, two, three, wait. One, two, three, four, how many? One, two, three, four, five. What the frick? Five PCI. There's actually an area right here, if you feel. Yeah. And it's the exact same size as the power supply under it, which means this computer is capable of having two power supplies in it. Oh, you're kidding me. It's only got one. Okay, shoot. It's capable of having two. I don't think you need to. No, you don't. All right, um, could I get some space so I can yeah. lay this down? But I'm wondering if it is the power supply that's actually causing the issue. There's another thing here, actually, if you want to come a bit closer. Um, there's a little tiny hole here. Where? Right here. Okay. And this hole looks like a wall wart type power supply goes into it. And I don't know what that would be for, but it might be needed for something. Um, it looks like a little hole for a uh, huh. pin to go in, uh, like a uh, regular like power supply for like That's an old phone or something. That's interesting, because you wonder if this thing... Maybe it needs to have that to like jumpstart it or something. Is actually... Can yeah. you um, move your feet? 
You wonder if like you can rig it somehow to see if we can at least get it going. Yep. Oh, I spilled your can. <laughs> this is gonna be a good video, I think. Oh, goodness. So wow, this holy shit, that is a long server. Good ooh, ooh. Freaking go what did you do? I pulled out the hard drives. Here, hold a hard drive. Wait, how They're do you four hundred gigabytes each? Oh, hey, what's how up? You, how do you pull them out? Uh, you pull on the little tabs at the top. Oh, cool. All right, so I need to get this back in. Yeah, I'll shove now, that back in. what for exactly you. happens when you plug it in? I'm curious. We haven't tested that quite yet. Well, let's do it now. Let's grab a power cord and let's see if he'll turn on. My God, look at him. He's huge. Good God. That is the biggest freaking tower server. Ooh, you know what? Oh my God, Lucky. I have a funny feeling. This thing would not work in my basement. You know why? Why? He wouldn't fit. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I can uh, take this He my wouldn't house. fit under... He's not going to fit underneath the workbench where I have um, Cavalier and the other dim. He's also, not... we're going to have to buy new uh, hard drive bays if we want to do that. Why? Because. These are 10k RPM drives. Holy crap. Are these SCSIs? They're um, Seagate Cheetahs. Well, wait, are, are they SCSI, SATA, SAS? What are they? SAS. Then why do we need new hot? Why do we need new drive bays? Because the drive bays here are just little holes to plug in the hole, and the drive bays themselves have uh, are uh, different from these little things. Here, let me show you what I mean. Hold this. You know what? I'm just gonna hold this. You know that that goes in the drive bays that are empty, and right. this is the hard drive bay. Okay. We don't. We only have two hard drive bays, okay. and the rest are those little uh, hole things. Oh. So okay. in order to get more hard drives in here, we'd either need to just shove them in and be like, uh, eh, whatever, they're in there, or we'd have to buy more of these little devices. I'd rather not be like, eh, whatever. I'd rather well considering get the proper hardware for well, them. Well, considering this thing is technically mine at this point. Yeah. I'd rather not be like, eh. Now, the big question is how the hell to get the. Uh, panel off like the side the side panel to get to like the motherboard and stuff yeah it's right here and Where? you need a key oh shit that's gonna be an issue i can maybe pick it oh wait no it's not no it's not because wamore has the keys i just remembered oh cool all right um let's so, plug it in and see what happens yeah let's see what freaking happens all right so let me go get i thought you said it was dead um adam said it might have been let me take a look. Well, let's get a damn cord and see. Now, it looks like the power button might be screwy. No, power button's fine. All the physical characteristics of the computer are actually completely fine, except for the fact that the front panel keeps coming off. That's because he's unlocked. That, and, by the way, I pulled that off on purpose because I wanted to see it. Mm. All right. All right, now, we got a monitor. When we get this thing plugged in, is anyone else in here? No one is. All right, now I'm, I'm going to warn you, Charlie, when this thing turns on, it is going to be as loud as Frank. It's okay. Happens. All right, um, I need to plug this in. That's why I'm going to do it, because if I'm the one sitting at it, I'm not going to... I'm the one filming. Hmm. I need to get a way to plug this in. There's no plugs in here. Shit. Okay. Ooh, this is going to be a nice long video, huh? Hmm. Do you care if this is on YouTube? No. Okay, cool, because it's going to be. Now, this thing... Now, you'll hear his power supply come on when he comes on. I need to get a plug. If he comes on. We could bring this up in the hallway, maybe. Adam's going to be wondering. Aren't we supposed to be setting up at this point? Or do we still have time? Eh, we have seven minutes. Okay, that should give us enough time. All right, I'm going to drag this computer over the other side of the room where there's a plug. Okay. Oh, I'm helping you. Am I making it very useful? There we go. There we go, okay. That was freaking heavy. That thing weighs about 100 pounds. Uh, yeah, tell me about it. He's huge. No, like literally 100 pounds probably. I know, he's huge. All right. Now, this is going to be real loud from over here because I'm going to be closest to him. You never know. All right. Are we all set? Okay, 
three, no, two. No, it's not. It's not even plugged in yet. I need to make sure that the power supply is plugged in. Oh shit! Yeah, that would help. Man, this is a nice bit. Wow. Oh god, Michael. Michael's gonna kill me though. Why? He said I wasn't supposed to touch this thing until I got until he got here. Yeah, screw him. Hey. Okay, hang on. Let me plug in a monitor. All right. And then let's uh, see what happens. Dot com. Okay. Monitors this... facing you, so if you want to point the phone up so, and closer to your body, because you know. We got a monitor here. All right, are we plugged in? Plugging in a monitor. And VGA goes in here. Now, why do I not hear the power supply? Because it's plugged in, but it's not turned on. All right, turn it on. Well, shit. Nothing's happening. What the hell? Hmm. Shit. It's like the... Damn it. I don't think the power supply is actually plugged into the computer. Like, like the power supply is removable. Yeah. And I removed it, and I can't uh -huh. get it to, like, go back in and stay in. But the light on a power supply is light lit up green. It is? Yeah. Alright, that's a good sign. Alright, maybe this thing's not totally dead. I think I just screwed up in terms of getting it back in where it belongs. Oh wait, hold on. Are we shut it are we shut off because you don't want to Yeah, it's shut off. Alright, yeah, let's see if we can get it back in. God, if only we can get Oh, the... there we go. Okay. I think I figured it out. Okay, what happened? Uh there's like a weird hinge. Oh. Oh, okay, that went way deeper than it went before, so yeah, it wasn't even plugged in on the computer, but the power supply was plugged in. Okay, and the computer is giving a light now. Press it. Holy shit, that's loud! Power Edge 2900 and, works! And it posted. It posted. Sumter! Sumter is alive. Oh my god, I'm like all excited. This is ridiculous. Look it, we got postage. Oh my god. Testing memory, please wait. Keyboard failure. Yeah, we don't have a keyboard. Who, who the monitor shit? isn't aligned right. The video of the monitor is way off than the monitor screen. Right now there's some text going off screen in the monitor, but we don't know. Testing memory, one 2.6 gigahertz, uh, gigahertz <laughs> quad core processor. Gigahertz? Oh god. Nice. Uh, system memory, 16 gigabytes. System memory speed, 670 megahertz. Expandable RAID controller BIOS. Oh my god. Virtual drives He's found alive. on a host adapter. That sounds cool, doesn't it? That sounds beautiful. Oh my god. One virtual drive handled by BIOS. IP address 0 .0 .0 .0. Hey guys, foam rolling. Hmm. <laughs> sounds like it. Yeah, we got the PE2900 going. Well, see, this thing's not staying here. This thing's mine. It's a it's a server. No, it's a heater. What what's your name again? I'm sorry. I'm Alex. <laughs> yeah, Alex. This thing is a server. It's a 2006 server. Oh my god. I called it Hog. I I call it Sumter. Media test failure. Check cable exiting Broadcom PXE. So it tried to boot. Didn't find anything to boot off of, and then said screw it. Okay. So hang on. I screwed up the hard drives. Let me redo the hard drives and see. Okay. If how much time do we have? Uh, we got a few more minutes. Alex, I'll bet you've never heard a computer that loud, have you? Oh well, man, just my computer is like 95. By the way... I wake up the whole house. The whole actually, the whole school, I'm really wondering if this thing would even fit in my friggin' basement. I don't think it will, Charlie, because if you look at... Oh, are we putting the... Uh, hard drives back in and in the correct order. Oh, yeah, you'll have to show me how to do it. That's damn cool. You, you can't even do that with Cavalier. Now, we're still on video, by the way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're laughing at me. You think this is funny, don't you? 
Why am I so excited? I don't get it. Oh my god. What's happening? Uh, I restarted it just to do it one more time because it said to restart. I am so glad we didn't do this out in the clinic there. Good god, that would scare the crap out of anybody. But at least this thing isn't too loud. It's like people complain about these things being really loud, which means that if it were in the basement, it wouldn't bother anybody. Are we still on... How's my camera angle? It's alright. Wow, this is this is awesome. It has a monochromatic display on the front of it in this little region right here where it Ooh. tells system information. Let's see. Right here. Right by the power button. Does it say anything? Yeah, it says it's just relaying the power model, uh, the power edge model. Ah, what color is the light? Blue, but it changes colors to orange as well. Well, that's cool. Now, what about the Dell logo? What about it? On some of them, that lights up. No, there. The Dell logo doesn't seem to be lit up. Where is that? Like way down here? No, it isn't. It isn't present on the computer at all. There's just like one little Dell sticker on it. Oh, I love the sound of it. I swear to God, this thing could put me to sleep at Me night. Media test failure, tech, uh, check cable, exiting PXE, so it probably just has wiped hard drives without an OS. Okay, cool. Doesn't seem to have an issue, and it tests the memory on No. Boot. So that means How that this thing... How much memory does it have in it? 16. Oh, yeah. So that means that um, we just need to put an OS on this, and it's all set to go? Yeah, which is Windows Server 2K12, which I have... R2? Yes. Word. Which means that Michael and I can do that when he gets here. Cool. Um, where do you so, want to bring this? Uh, let's just put him, well, we can put him out in the open. He doesn't need to be, he doesn't need to have all the garbage on top of him now, because he's not useless. He's actually very useful. Well, it uses up a lot of room that is valuable space, so it'd be easier to just stow it somewhere. But if we can maybe get an Uber or something, we could get it transported to yours or mine. Just so, and I'll hook it up to the internet and install server R2 on it for you if we don't get that done today. No, we're gonna get that done today, because right at 6 o'clock, mm -hmm. Michael and I are coming back in here and we're dealing with this guy. That's what Adam told me to do, so. Oh, wow, we've been going for 17.47. So, what time is it? Uh, hold on a second. Alright guys, we will be back with an update on this thing in a little bit, so uh, I'll be back... Well, for you guys, I'll be right back. Anyway, PE2900 lives. Whoops.